Pepe is that sometimes he can be so sneaky, he can just be down in the grass and you can miss him. So, Carol, you're wondering if he's large. There he is in the road. Look at that. Winning! We won! <laughs> there he is. On the road itself. So, as I was saying to you, Shibamu Pans is always the winning spot. And so you're asking, is he large for his age? Well, I, he's not particularly large anymore. He went through a really gr big growth spurt and he was much bigger when he was a little bit younger. Now he's filling out a little bit but he's not as large as I would have thought he would have been by now. I thought he was going to be a little bit taller than what he is. He's now sort of still quite squat and he's almost starting to look a little bit more like Tingana and Mvula in that he's filling out massively and he's getting massive shoulders and neck area but his actual height is still quite small to the ground so he will probably go through another growth spurt again. He's only at the end of the day I suppose just over a year old so I suppose yes he is actually quite large for his size now that we can see him you can see look at that neck area look how big it's getting I'm so excited that we found him Hosanna thank you that was very kind of you to be lying right out in the road and you can see he's been using the shade to his advantage and having a little nap there good afternoon boy and this is so cool because we've been having so many afternoons where, well, I have at least, where I've been trying to find leopards and we spend the whole day looking for them and without very much luck. And to now come across Asana, first thing in the drive means hopefully we're going to be able to spend a lot of time with him. The problem is, is we are right on the boundary and you can see he's yawning already, which is a generally an indication that he might start standing up and moving. Now, I hope if he does start moving that he moves back up towards these pans that we've just come from and not southwards towards Little Gari Drive, or yeah, Little Gari Drive, where's right here actually, I was, thought I was getting a bit confused as to where we are, but you can see, look at the size of his paw, so Monique all the way from London, hello Monique, I hope you're having a lovely day, and you're wondering if Hosanna is big enough and skilled enough to tackle a warthog. Well, Monique, it depends on the size of the warthog. I don't think he's big enough or skilled enough yet to take on an adult female or an adult male warthog. But these warthogs that were born around October, that are now about seven months old, they are in perfect size range for Hosanna. And so in terms of that, yes, he will be able to. We also know that he has pulled down big adult male impalas, which means that he will be able to tackle quite large animals but a warthog is a really really feisty animal and i was actually in the kruger last week and i know it's not a leopard but i watched an adult cheetah trying to hunt warthogs and it chased the young warthogs and as soon as the mother warthog turned around that cheetah got a absolute hiding from this um this warthog it got chased all over the place and i've actually got a video of it somewhere i'll try and find it just now so that i can show all of you how the cheetah got chased so even hosanna at his age that he is now would potentially then get chased by one of those adult warthogs but younger warthogs most definitely are on the menu but I can't believe how big his shoulders have gotten. That's one area that he's really filled out. He's starting to get very wide around that shoulder area. So Beverly, you're wondering about the spot patterns and what a spot pattern 3-3 means. Well, what it means is basically the spots around the nose area. Now, hopefully, Hosanna will start sleeping and I can get a little bit closer and I'll be able to show you what we're talking about. But basically, it's referring to the spots that lie just above the whisker line. So there's a series of spots on every leopard that is unique to that leopard. And so when we say 3-3, we're, we're calling the number of spots above the whisker line on the right and left side of the face. So three on the left, three on the right, and that's its eye feature now the arrangement of those spots will be unique and no other leopard will have the exact same arrangement as he's got and will not have the same numbers there might be a 3-3 leopard but that will have one big spot and two small spots or two big spots and one small spot and they'll be arranged differently and so that's how we use them to ID each individual leopard and to make sure it is who it is now like I say I'm pretty sure this is Hosanna because I saw him this morning and it's come right to where I thought he would be and so that's why I think it is him and I'm pretty sure also when I saw him sort of look at us you after a while just get to know what they look like and how they kind of sort of appear to you in real life and that's how I also determine now he seems like he's spotted something down the road he's kind of looking in that direction and sort of wondering what's going on what are you up to? Where are you going to go back to sleep? I hope he does go back to sleep because then we'll be able to actually spend a bit more time with him. So Amy, you're saying when Asana gets older, he's going to be a rival for Tingana. Well, most definitely. And that's...
by Tingana. When he gets, sees that Hassan is starting to get bigger and larger, he's going to try and chase him out of this area. So even though it is his son, Tingana knows that this could be potentially an individual that can overthrow him. And so he's going to try and push his son away from his core territory and make sure that he's got his own space to deal with. And so that's why you'll end up with a situation where they don't, young males normally don't actually stay too close to their natal territory. What can happen is Tingana being slightly older could potentially um, unfortunately um, pass away and then you might find that Hassan is still in this area and he is able to take over. Much like what we've seen with Quarantine who hasn't gone far at all. Oh, that's a big yawn. A little bit of grooming. Right, we're going to spend some more time with our young prince, although let's see where he's going. Don't go south. Please don't go south, boy. Look how beautiful his coat is. He's got such a nice gold coat. No, that's the wrong way. Right, let's see. Well, I don't think he's going to be able to... Well, we're not going to be able to hold him for much longer, unfortunately, because once he goes this way, that's unfortunately southwards and onto the areas that we can't follow so i'm going to just try and see if we can't get a last view of him before he does you can see the main road is right here and then little gari lies just on the other side of this and also the problem with this road is that because it's the main road it tends to be very very busy and therefore we end up with a situation where there'll be a lot of cars that will end up coming here but he's going to come right out onto the road now i think it seems like he's almost stalking something as he comes over where are you off to? But isn't that beautiful? In that afternoon light, that's as good as it gets. Oh boy. His coat is such a rich color in this light. I can't tell you how pretty he looks. He's got this kind of gold coloration and it really is very, very bright. It's absolutely beautiful. And look at that face. He is a spectacular individual. So, Muhammad from Doha, you want to know how a male and a female leopard differs? Well, with male leopards, they tend to get much larger than the females. They get a much bulkier head area and this big flap of skin that will start to hang down called a dewlap. They also have golden testicles that hang out underneath their tail, which helps us be able to see that they're a male or a female. In terms of the females, much smaller, almost half the size in terms of weight, and tend to have much smaller heads and feet, and that's what helps us to be able to see them. Now, I'm going to try go forward a little bit and just see if we can't get our last sort of view of him. Now, unfortunately, he is heading in the bad way and not the way that we wanted him to, so I don't think we're going to be able to stick with him anymore. And while he sort of drifts away from us, let's go back to Taylor and see if she's had any luck of her own. Great tricks. Oh, hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm just quickly...